Okay, so, um, in this video, I'm gonna be showing you, like, the little, you know, the little circles at the top part, like, what they mean and stuff, and how to do emotes with your horse, and everything, and what does, like, pick up mean and attack, basically, oh my god. <laughs> um, so yeah, basically, just, you know, little things. So, first off, we're gonna do, like, emotes. So emotes is right by your map, it should say it. When you tap or click on it, you can do eat from hand, scratch face, um, paw ground, you know, angry, relaxed. Some of these emotes they'll actually do, like if your horse is grumpy, they might kick you or buck you. They might do like the mad emote if you pet him or something, or even if you're just like standing there. If you have a grumpy horse, like with that personality, the grumpy personality, they might do it. Um, but yeah, if you have an energetic horse, they might speed up randomly. If you have a lazy horse, they're gonna slow down randomly. Maybe I'll do like a quick video about personalities and what they do and stuff. Um, yeah, this is what you do when this is tack. Like you can put different accessories on and auras. This is what happens when you press pick up. It basically goes, the horse goes into your inventory. Um, yeah. So the little things on the side that says gate plus and gate minus. I think we all know what stop means. It's basically going to stop your horse at any speed that you're going. If you're going, if you're going higher than walking, I'm pretty sure. Or you might be able to do it with try. It just depends the speed of the horse. I think if you're going higher than walking though, when you just press mount or like dismount, if you press the dismount button, it's going to make you fall off. Um, like, if you don't stop it, you just press the dismount button. It's going to make you fall off. Um, so, yeah, remember to press stop and then dismount or just speed, like, press minus gate. Uh, basically, this is the map and stuff. You know, if you zoom in and everything, these are where you can find the game passes. I have VIP, so I get more money and stuff per thing. Um... Yeah, everything at the top, basically, that's where you can invite your friends. And I think I showed you everything else, like the settings, your profile. Um, yeah. The thing at the bottom is your level. A uh, little backpack is where you have all your stuff and your horses. The thing at the bottom is your lasso. You can craft those in your backpack, I'm pretty sure. I show that in here somewhere. Um, and then your pickaxe, you can also craft better pickaxes i think or you can buy better pickaxes i'm not sure um but yeah there's not too much to it um that's my pickaxe my lasso you can use lassos to capture wild horses here's where you craft them so you can craft carts which is a vehicle you have to get a harness though for any horse to pull a cart driving harness you see right there and lassos you can obviously color different stuff although like if you make a harness and you want it to be blue or purple like i have on saturn here on most of the weather you would have to have like a great like a blueberry or something or like a certain flower to dye it um but yeah you can also get just dyes like if you buy it from foodies hair swan or trade it for something i don't know whatever you just have to have it you can also use that for colors of saddles or bridles or um saddle pads anything basically we <laughs> went quiet for a second uh yeah the gate so if you press while you're like you can go backwards if you press minus gate while you're just sitting there uh plus gate makes you go faster so there's stand gallop walk <laughs> walk trot canter gallop um, and then if you're just standing, you're not doing anything, and you press minus gate, the minus gate, it's gonna make you go backwards. And here is a pretty paint horse that I want to capture with my lasso. Here is a demonstration. <laughs> um, yeah. All you have to do is tap the screen. The better the lasso you have, the less, like, things you're gonna have to tap. It'll, like, if you have a stone one or whatever... I don't know, it doesn't matter. It might go by threes, so like three, six, nine, twelve. That's how it did it. If you just had like a, a normal like wooden one or whatever, it would just go by ones. You would have to tap it twelve times. But 
with the three, like the stone or whatever, I would only have to tap it like four times, and it would go to 12. Um, so yeah, this is your need, which is perfect, because I was just thinking about that. Uh, your horse is dirty, so yeah, you can press that. They're, what they want to do, where you can see at their profile picture thing, so you go to your thing, and you go to equipment, and you tap on them. Should do the thing, and it also brings your love level up. Like the little hearts right there which you can use to breed i'm sure pretty sure if you have the love level at like above 10 or something i don't know if that is a thing um you can breed them but i know if you don't have them out for like if you, the thing isn't high enough you can't breed them um this is like what would happen if i looked at someone else's horse or mine that's a clydesdale mixed with a frisian very pretty um, yeah, you can see, like, the speed and stuff. If you're about to trade and you want to look at it. If you want to trade someone, I can't do it because they're on their horse, but you just crap on them. You can press co-breed or you can press, like, trade or inspect their horse that they have out or whatever. I'm not very sure, but it's one of those. This is my Andalusian. I think that's how I say it. Andalusian? I don't know. Honestly. <laughs> um, I captured her in the wild. I found her here at Mainland. I was by the breeding center. But, yeah, anyways, thank you for watching. Comment if you have any questions or you missed out on anything. Bye!